everyone. The end of the season is approaching, so it's once again time for an end of season checklist. If there's anything else that you think should be mentioned here that I don't cover on this list, make sure to comment down below for others to find. Now let's get into it. Let's begin at the big one, content going away. Make sure to finish up any seasonal content from the past year, as well as any forsaken content that you still want to finish. This includes triumphs, chasing weapons, all that stuff. This also includes several seals such as Moments of Triumph, Splicer, and while Hawkmoon and DMT will be available randomly via Xur, this is your last chance to get them from their activities. Umbrals are in a bit of a grey area at the moment since it has been confirmed that our current setup in the helm will be leaving, so if you do still want to chase weapons currently available from focusing Umbrals, I highly recommend getting onto that now just to be safe. They haven't said Umbrals will be leaving entirely, but we don't know what the setup will be yet either. The general engram loot pool is also being changed, so a similar note applies here. And with vendor engrams resetting each season, you may also want to go pick these up before that happens. Now onto materials. Banshee is getting a rework, so gunsmith materials, mod components and weapon telemetries will become useless next season. Make sure to spend them before the 22nd if you'd like to still use them. Additionally, any seasonal currencies are also going away, such as corrupted key codes and hammer charges, so now is your last chance to make use of them. Next up are bannies. When you are saving bannies, keep in mind that any gear you get from them will be capped at 1350 power, so this is something to keep in mind when you are choosing which bannies to save. Additionally, all the Tangled Shore and seasonal bannies will be going away, and some of Banshees and Drifters bannies will also be getting reworked, so do not hold on to these. Any other bannies including Iron Banner ones are fine to keep, and if you are into your fashion, you may also want to finish up your Ada bannies and these will refresh next season. Talking about power, there is no need to try and level all your gear to 1330 before the end of the season. With the new power floor being 1350, all your non-sunset gear will automatically upgrade to that level. As an additional note, if you complete the full legendary campaign for Witch Queen, you'll be rewarded with a full set of 1520 power gear. Also make sure to pick up your completed weekly vendor challenge before Witch Queen, as these will carry over into the next season and cause any gear rewards to be locked to 1350 power, just like any engrams if you keep them till next season. Onto mods, make sure to unequip seasonal mods from all of your gear, even if it's in your vault. In the past, leaving these on has caused certain mods to not be available to those players for quite a long time, so it's better to be safe than sorry. As a final note, Trials will not be back until the weekend after the day one raid, so this weekend is your last chance to get Trials gear before then. And it's also your last chance to get the hand cannon and the sword before they are rotated out of the loot pool. Next week is the final Iron Banner of the season, so Trials won't be around then. And that is all for now, I hope this was useful and if you'd like to support the channel make sure to check the links in the description below. Have a great day everyone, I will see you on the next video. Bye bye!